welcome everyone today to deliverance hour we give god all the praise we give god all the honor we give god all the adoration he is worthy of all praise he is worthy of all honor in the name of jesus father we appreciate your kindness we appreciate all you've been doing in our life we appreciate Jesus dying for us. We appreciate Jesus is our sacrifice. And I appreciate that every wall of limitations is broken in Christ Jesus. And you made us to understand that when we believe that Jesus died for us, we resurrect the third day. And if we confess Jesus as Lord, we are saved. And because we believe in Christ Jesus, our names are written in the book of life. And you have adopted us, Heavenly Father, as your children, your daughters and your sons. We have have come before your presence this hour in this deliverance hour that every limitations of past of darkness everything walls of limitation in the name of Jesus they are broken down they are pulled down they are uprooted in Jesus name because you have told us in your word in the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 B and Jesus said every plan which my far heavenly father had not planted shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus shall be rooted up today in the the name of Jesus upon this word father we stand and we do heaven the father in the name of Jesus that when Jesus descended in hell, in hell descended and the name of Jesus Jesus penetrated to liberate us that's why the Bible said in the book of Psalm 24 from verse 9 and 10 he said lift up your hands all ye gates and even lift up your everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in and they ask who is this king of glory the Lord of hosts he is the king of glory you are worthy you have liberated us from every pass of darkness you have liberated us from from every force of stagnation, every circumstance of stagnation, every stagnation in finance, every stagnation in healing, every stagnation in success, every stagnation in growing in the word of God, every stagnation of roaming about not being actualizing in fruitfulness, every stagnation in the name of Jesus. Jesus has uprooted them because the Bible says that whatever heavenly father you did not plant must be uprooted in the name of Jesus. And we stand today by this word and we stand to decree and declare against force of evil that stand against every life here today in the mighty name of Jesus. That your glory come down and start to burn out everything that does not honor you in this life. Everything that does not appreciate you in this life. Everything that stands as a stagnation of limitation today in the name of Jesus. Father, let your glory come down, start to oppress, start to destroy the works of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, let your name be highly exalted. We have gathered today before thy throne of grace, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus, manifest your power, manifest your faithfulness, manifest your miracle, manifest the breakthrough, manifest the success. Let your glory reach out in every life here. Whatever your children are going through in this hour of the day, in this arena, in any connecting power area they are connecting from, whatever power operating in those areas father in the name of jesus we start to break their chains we start to subdue their evil missions and activities in jesus name we start to pull down every stronghold of powers of darkness we start to uproot their powers we destroy their missions in the name of jesus the powers of limitation ancestral force of limitation territorial force of limitation demonic powers of limitation father father father's force of limitation we cause the wars to them to be uprooted and fall in in Jesus name Holy Spirit we pray your glory reach every life here we pray your presence we pray your supernatural power reach out to every life every circumstance reach out to the children every circumstance reach out to the youths in every circumstance Reach out to the mothers every circumstance. Reach out to the fathers every circumstance. Reach out to nations every circumstance. Reach out to families and homes right now. Whatever limitation in the name of Jesus. Today is your day. You have to move in Jesus name. I speak to you pass of darkness. I speak to you territorial demonic pass of darkness. I speak to you assigned demon operating against this life. I stand. I speak to you today. You force that come to operate with limitation. I command you right now start to pack your bags and baggages. Be thou uprooted and be cast out in the name of Jesus. You limitative force of drug. You limitative force of rebellion.
rebelliousness that have brought anger of God against this family. I command you force that is operating. Pack your bags and baggages. Start to live and be uprooted in Jesus' name. You walls of ages of pain. You walls of ages of continual disease, infirmity, sickness, tormenting these lives and this family today. You walls, I cause you to fall in the name of Jesus. I cause you to be uprooted because Jesus said, whatever our Heavenly Father did not plant must be uprooted. In the name of Jesus, I stand to command you to be uprooted and leave this home, leave this life, leave this family right now in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, let your power reign. Let your glory reign. Let your supernatural power reign in this deliverance. In upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion there must be deliverance. Jesus, you have delivered your children. Jesus, you are our sacrifice. Jesus, you died for us to be free. Jesus, you become poor for us to be rich. Jesus, you are victim for us to be victorious. Let your mighty power of liberation and deliverance start to manifest in these lives, in this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. I release everyone here before the throne of grace. We appreciate all you have done for us. The life you have given to us. The grace you have poured abundance upon the earth. Jesus dying for our sins. Jesus paying the price of our debts. Jesus paying the price to redeem us and redeem every one of us that believe in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you because the Jesus is the sacrifice, the lamb that was slain for us, breaking the hands of the enemy over our life. Every cause, every ancestral cause, operating, operating for years in the life of souls. Jesus is our sacrifice. Jesus is the lamb that was slain. Jesus has set us free. And we stand today victory, victorious and free in Christ Jesus because of the redemption we have in Christ Jesus. Father, upon this world today, we stand to release ourselves. Everyone here today in the mighty name of Jesus that are going through one challenge or the other. Every family is going through one tumult or the other. Every family going round and round a circle, a repeated problem, a repeated issue. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus has paid the price. Jesus has set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, in this life, for therefore in this family, therefore in the life of this youth, therefore in the life of this marriage, therefore in the life of this child, Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus has paid the price. Heavenly Father, start to visit, liberate today as we stand by the word that everything, Heavenly Father, you did not plant in this life, you did not plant in this family, is uprooted today in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is a sacrifice. Because Jesus has paid the price. Jesus, Jesus has liberated us. That's why the book of Psalms said, Lift up your hands, all you get. Be ye lifted up your everlasting doors, that the King of glory should come in. Who is this King of glory? He is the Lord of glory. He is the King of glory. Jesus is the King of glory. You are the Lord of us, Jehovah. Let your power take over right now. Start to uproot every chain of stagnation. Every chain of backwardness, every chain of limitation, whatever lifestyle that has been breaking your children to stagnation, you will start to fall right now in the name of Jesus, whatever that is not planted, wherever that is being planted, in the name of Jesus we stand to approach, I stand in agreement with your daughter, I stand in agreement with your son, I stand in agreement with this family, I stand in agreement with everyone here, in the name of Jesus we descend, we approach them we root them up in the name of Jesus and we cause this world to fall in Jesus' name. You walls of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus start to fall in the name of Jesus. You walls of limitation destroying life, shedding blood. We command you to fall in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, King of glory start to take over this family. King of glory start to take over these lives. King of glory coming to these hearts. King of glory coming in the name of Jesus. Because the walls have fallen. The walls have broken. The, the gates of the enemy have fallen. The gates of stagnation. The gate of pain. The gate of depression. The gate of sickness. The gate of infirmity has 
has fallen in Jesus' name because Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus has liberated this life. Therefore, the gates of limitation will cause you to fall today in the name of Jesus. The gates of frustration and confusion will cause you to fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, take over this family in this deliverance hour. We stand in your word, Heavenly Father. We hold on to your word, Jesus is a sacrifice. We hold on to your word, Jesus has paid the price. We hold on to your word, Jesus has liberated us. We hold on to your word, Jesus has set us free from the powers of darkness. From the chain of the enemy, from the destruction that wasted at noonday, from destruction that stand against us, for a thousand shall fall at our left, ten thousand at our right, they shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we behold the destructions of the wicked. Therefore, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let destruction befall every force of stagnation, whichever way the enemy set it up, whichever device and manipulations of the kingdom of darkness, we start to break them down in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we stand to uproot whatever fruit, whatever lifestyle that is operating in the youth, in the life of this son, in the life of this daughter, that bring disobedience to parents, that bring rebelliousness even to the word of God, that cause the youth to be in drugs, that cause the youth to be in disease, disease drug that destroy their relationship with you. In the name of Jesus, you fruit of drug addiction, you fruits of drug addiction in the name of Jesus. I command you to be uprooted and be broken in Jesus' name. You drug that caused these youths to be in, live the life of limitation. I command your powers to be broken. You must fall in Jesus' name because Jesus is the sacrifice for this life in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. We give you all the praise, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory, Heavenly Father. We give you all the honor, Heavenly Father. Every life that I've gathered in this deliverance hour, Father, start to visit this house. I bring this youth, this child, every limitation that is set, be it from ancestry, be it from fathers, be it from mothers, that is causing sickness, that is causing rebelliousness, that is causing disorganization in the destiny of this child, that make this child to make decisions that are not right, that make this youth to make decisions that are not right. Father, today in the name of Jesus, these walls of limitation will cause you to be broken. We uproot you, whatever it is that you use to operate in this life, we uproot you in the mighty name of Jesus and we break your chains with cause you to fall out in Jesus name lose your hold you pass of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus lose your hold in Jesus name spirit of fear that come with limitation that create thoughts that create ideas you force of fear that come with limitation with fear over this life over this home receive the word of god what you are not planted in this life it is not the will of god for this child this person to be in fear you are the spirit of satan and the spirit of satan is the spirit of fear i command you satan in the name of jesus lose your hold i break your hands over this life in the mighty name of jesus whatever connecting force of fear operating in this life i want you to listen to me right now the bible says it's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit says the Lord of hosts. And the Bible told us right now that whatever that is not planted by my heavenly Father in this life must be uprooted. This is what Jesus said. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, you demonic spirit that come with fear, you demonic spirit that come with demonic force to afflict fear, I command your gates to be broken right now. I uproot your assigned mission. Whatever you use to connect to inflict fear, whatever thought you come with fear, whatever ideas that flow in the head, in the memory, that bring fear in this life, I command your hands to be broken in the name of Jesus. I uproot you out of this life. I break your walls in Jesus' name. I root you up you fearful limitation. I root you up. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. And I break the walls of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I break you gates of darkness that come with fear of suppression. Uproot and be get out in the name of Jesus. Uproot and get out in the name of Jesus. 
uproot, get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, let your power of liberation take over this life in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus, the King of glory, come into this life. King of glory, come into this life with spirit of boldness. You have not given us the spirit of fear, but spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. Let your sound spirit flow in this life with boldness to rise in your world to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Ancient of days, let your mighty power reign over this life in the name of Jesus. In spirit of aggression, when this person gets angry, it destroys the good things that this person has done for a while. And the person says words that is not to the glory, that does not, that does not bring peace. And this word kind of destroys peace. It kind of destroys the thoughts and love of the family. It disorganizes people from reaching out to you. These are words of limitation. These are words that stand to frustrate the destiny. These are words that destroy the good hard work in the mighty name of Jesus over this life. Therefore, you demonic spirit of fear. Whatever that come with this anger, whatever that come with this pain, that may cause the man to say words that are not right, that bring anger, that destroy things that have worked for a long time, I command you demonic force that come with this anger, lose your hold over this life. Whatever you have operated in this life with for years, enough, the Bible said, you are not planted in this life, therefore you must be uprooted. I command you demonic spirit that come with anger of destruction be thou uprooted in the name of jesus and be cast out to dry places in jesus name and everything that you have said to operate in this life the gates of limitation the walls of limitation you use anger you use these words to operate i cause your gates to fall break in the name of jesus Break in the name of Jesus. Get out and lose your hold over this life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ancient of days, let your name be glorified. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your mighty holy name be glorified over this home, over this life. In Jesus' name, this home that is experiencing anger all the time, experiencing pain all the time. No relationship of joyful communication. No relationship of happiness. Today, lose your hold. Get out in Jesus' name. You condemn the spirit of condemning, fault finding demon of limitation, always fighting for finding fault, fault of what have limited you, fault of what have held you back, finding fault of what the brother did, what the sister did, what this person did, what that person did is a demonic force of limitation. They are accusing demonic force of the limitation, fault finding limitation. It is not of God, it's of Satan. Today, in the name of Jesus, the Bible said, I should speak to you, you demonic spirit of accusation of limitation, lift up your hands all you get, be lifted up right now in the name of Jesus because you are not planted in this life, you are not planted in this home because the Bible said whatever that my father is not planted is must be uprooted. Today you must be rooted up out of this life, out of this home, out of this family. You fought fighting demon with anger. You come with anger with fault finding, accusing, looking for fault. And when you are operating in this life, enough is enough. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And with violence we take you by force out of this life. You know why? Because the most high God did not create you in this life. You have no right coming with infirmity of anger, coming with infirmity of accusation coming with the infirmity of fault finding, for finding fault of limitation, bringing this life in a limitation stagnation and looking for fault of reason to be able to, not to be able to move forward, not to be able to relate with love and happiness. Today you lie. We command your hands over this life to be broken in Jesus' name. You demonic spirit of accusation, you fault finding demon of stagnation, lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Whatever gate you use to operate in this life to limit this person today your limitation gate be broken today in jesus name i root you up i cast you out to dry places get out in the name of jesus father let your mighty power of glory start to take over this heart king of glory you are the prince of peace every fruit of the holy spirit is of love is of peace is of joy is of faith let it start happening in this heart
hearts right now. Let it start taking over in this home right now. Let your name be highly glorified, Heavenly Father, in this family, in this life, in this home, in the name of Jesus. Let the peace of Jesus start to reign in this home right now in the mighty name of Jesus. A shade of death, every limiting force, oh my goodness, every limiting force of going round and round and excusing and giving one reason. Enough! This is your bus stop in the name of Jesus. Live! You are uprooted today. Whatever your excuse, whatever your reason, whatever your mission in this life, I say start to pack your load. Live in the name of Jesus. Get out in Jesus' name. Every limiting force that comes with infirmity, with sickness, oh my goodness, limitating sickness, limitating disease, limitating infirmity, causing limitation in this life, we command you to fall because you know what? By the stripe of Jesus, we possess healing. Therefore, you spirit of infirmity, afflicting this health, afflicting this life for years, for months now, in the name of Jesus, hear the word of God. He says, lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of us. He is the king of glory. I command you right now, start to pack your bags and baggages. Pack your bags and baggages, whatever infirmity, whatever sickness, whatever infirmities, whatever name you call it. I want you to hear the word of God. Matthew 15, 13 says, Every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be uprooted. So you are not planted by the most high God over this life from creation. Therefore, are you with diabetes? Are you with headache? Are you with fibroid? Are you with whatever form of debilitating sickness? In the name of Jesus, be uprooted right now and get out in Jesus' name. I break your wall of stagnation over this temple. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. This life belongs to the most high God because you have no creation in this life. You have come to kill, and destroy. I want you to know Jesus has come, that this life will have life and have it more abundantly. So the abundance of life you are limiting for today in the name of Jesus. Be uprooted and get out of this life. Get out in the name of Jesus. I release the fire of God against you. Live in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, let your power of healing start to take over right now in the name of Jesus. Your power of healing start to revive. We let your healing take over. We possess the healing by the stripe of Jesus. We possess the healing by the stripe of Jesus. This life will not be limited again in the mighty name of Jesus. This home will not be limited again in the name of Jesus. You will not be limited again because of walls of darkness. In the name of Jesus, start to rise and receive the healing of the Most High God. The power of the Holy Spirit through your veins, through your bone, the blood of Jesus all over you. Start to receive healing right now in Jesus' name. Start to rise and be exalted. Jesus, be exalted in your bones. Jesus, be exalted in your life because Jesus is your sacrifice. You are free because whom the Son of God set free. He is free indeed in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Spirit start to manifest the healing, the freedom, the fried bread dry out in the name of Jesus. The fried bread, you have no right to grow in this stomach. In the name of Jesus, the fire bread in the womb, you will not grow anymore. Today is your termination day in the name of Jesus. I command you, get out in Jesus' name. You are terminated from this womb in the mighty name of Jesus. The diabetes, you are terminated because Jesus has broken your chains. Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus take the pain and this life is free. Your gate of limitation is broken over this life and receive the blood of Jesus. This life possess the healing by the strap of Jesus. Thank you. Holy Spirit over this life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, love your way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let your miracle of healing in the name of Jesus. This person, oh my goodness, there's a limitation. It's hard for this person to smile. It is hard for this person to smile. Just to smile is a problem. You always have reason. Something is always troubling. There's the, the devil always bring thoughts that make you unhappy. Bring thoughts that make you see things that will not make you happy. Satan is a manipulative lie. The spirit of God is of joy. Is of of peace, is of faith, is of love, that you are not to operate by the power of the flesh. Satan is a manipulative liar over this life. Therefore, from today, whatever the enemy have planted in this life to cause this person pain, not to give joy, not to be happy, always bringing sorrow, always remembering sorrowful thoughts, not having the joy of salvation, but your mind keep going in the area of things that cause you pain, things that bring sorrow in your home, no happy
happiness in the home today will terminate the powers operating in this life in the mighty name of Jesus. You powers that come to operate against this life. You force that come to take the joy from this home. You force that come to take joy from this heart. Hear the word of God. Your gate today is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Your seed of anger is uprooted today in Jesus' name. Your gate of suppression against this life is broken today in Jesus' name. Therefore, your walls of limitation that limits this life from having joy is broken in the name of Jesus. I command you, break and lose your hold over this life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift, be the uprooted and get out in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your hold. Get out over this life in the name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take over. Father, let your power of the Holy Spirit fill this life with joy. Fill this life with peace. Fill this life with joy in the salvation. Fill this life with love of the Holy Spirit. Fill this life continuous from today onwards for this life to experience the joy of salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove gloominess in the home. Holy Spirit, take over the family. Take over the home. The gloominess of limitation is removed from today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, manifest your peace. Manifest your joy. Manifest your happiness in this home. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Financial limitation Whatever stagnation, mandarabo, sandarabo, kosende. The Bible says we still go back. That which limits progression. That will limit resources. That will limit progression. Causing finances to be stagnant. Causing resources to be stagnant. Causing resources to be full of excuses. Later, later. Today we limit your mission in this life, in this family, in this business. From today onwards, in the name of Jesus, hear ye the word of God. Whatever that I brought you, whatever connection of ancestry, whatever connection of demonic forces, whatever connection of witchcraft, whatever connection of laziness, whatever connection of procrastination that limits this hand, that limits this life, hear ye the word of God. Lift up your hands, all you get. Be you lifted up, you everlasting doors. The King of Glory has come in. I command you because you are not planted in this life. In the mighty name of Jesus, be you procrastination spirit of laziness. I say, lose your hold, be uprooted. Get out in Jesus' name. Be you ancestral connection, of course. You are broken today because Jesus finished you on the cross. Jesus made a push of you in the grave. Jesus triumph over you. The name of Jesus is exalted high above every name. In the name of Jesus, you must bow. You know why? Because Jesus is the sacrifice for this life. Therefore, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command you to be uprooted and get out of this life. In Jesus' name, your walls of limitation in finance today will cause it to fall in Jesus' name. We break your gates in the mighty name of Jesus. All your connecting force and reasons, all your demonic forces assigned as a stagnation in finance, we command your powers to be broken. Live in the mighty name of Jesus. Every financial excuses, excuses of repeated debts, excuses of repeated owing. Today, pack your load, get out in the name of Jesus. You demonic force operating against substance, resources. You demonic force operating in this area, bringing excuses of debt, bringing excuses of borrowing, bringing limitation, resources not being enough to solve problems, resources not being enough to pay bills, resources not being enough to put food on the table, resources not being enough to date. In the name of Jesus, your limitation was will cause you to fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Bible says, lift up your heads. All you get, you everlasting doors, gates that have been operating from ages against this family today, you are broken in the name of Jesus. Lift up your heads, all you gates, and get out in the mighty name of Jesus. And be lifted up, you everlasting doors that have been bringing stagnation of limitation. Be uprooted today in the mighty name of Jesus and get out in Jesus' name. The walls must fall. Father, let your power come down. The walls of limitation will cause them to fall because Father God is not planted in this life. We cause them to start to fall right now live in the mighty name of jesus 
Holy Spirit, have your way. Let your name be glorified. Yes, Lord, let your name be glorified. Let your spirit start to flow. We move with the blood of Jesus. Because Jesus, you are the sacrifice for this family. You are the sacrifice for this life. You are the sacrifice for this home. Jesus, you have liberated us. Your blood has been atoned for this life. Whatever ancestry, whatever cause, whatever that has been operating, Jesus, you are the sacrifice. Jesus, you have paid the price. Therefore, whom the Son of God set free, you are free indeed. We are free indeed. Let your liberation power take over. The walls of limitation that cause them to fall. Today in Jesus, they break and fall in the name of Jesus. As the blood of Jesus flow over this family. As the blood of Jesus flow over this life. Father, let your name be exalted. Let your glory take over this family. Let your glory take over this life. Let your glory take over this home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Miracle of favor. Miracle of faithfulness of resources. Miracle of miracle of open doors. Father, let it start to flow. Miracle of business. Seriousness in business. Miracle of perseverance in success. Let it start to flow in this life. Miracle of boldness. Not of procrastination. Not of laziness. Start to flow in this life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit start to speak. In the mind, in the mindset of this home, Father, the limitation walls will cause them to be broken. The mindset that is not possible, we start to reverse it in Jesus' name. The mindset of procrastination, we start to reverse it in Jesus' name with boldness, with energy, to rise in success in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your glory flow. Whatever that is not planted by my heavenly Father in this life is uprooted today in the name of Jesus because the Bible says, lift up your hands all you get and be you lifted of your everlasting dust, that the King of glory may come in. Heavenly Father, let your name be exalted. The gates of limitation is fall today. We cause you to fall in the name of Jesus. The walls of limitation break and fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Every stagnant limiting force, whichever way you stand on the way, with excuses of procrastination, with excuses of impossibility. Father, the Bible made me to understand with God, nothing is impossible. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, your possibility power start to flow over this life, start to flow over this family. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a warning for this person. You don't give, give, give giving excuses. The Lord said I should speak to somebody. The little the Lord have laid in your hand. Persevere in it. Trust the most high God. Have faith in it. Remove your eyes from another. Remove your eyes from whatever anybody is doing. But put your mind in that which the Lord has given to you. Because the will of God in your life, the Lord said I should speak to you. The will of God in your life is did not descend with the will of God of the other person. Therefore, you do not compare. I'm hearing persevere. I'm hearing persevere. Trust in the Lord, persevere. I'm hearing you persevere. Trust God with the Lord you have. I'm hearing persevere. You must persevere. We possess the spirit of perseverance right now to stand by faith in Christ Jesus. Breaking the walls of limitation. Breaking the walls of stagnation over your life. Over that which the Lord has bestowed in your life today in Jesus name. Holy Spirit let your strength and energy of perseverance, spirit of perseverance flow in this life. We trust in the finished work of Jesus. We trust that Jesus is the sacrifice. That every ancestry, every force connected, Jesus is the sacrifice. And the sacrifice of Jesus has set this life free. Therefore, Father God, let your mighty power of perseverance by the power of the Holy Spirit take over in everything your sons and your daughters lay their hands to do. Let your name be glorified with favor. Let your name be glorified with success. Let your name be glorified with testimony. Miracle of breakthrough in the name of Jesus over this life in that which they laid their hands to do today the walls of limitation break and fall in Jesus name Holy Spirit have your way this is the hour of deliverance let your mighty power of deliverance let the one that Jesus has said so said so in the name of Jesus that the Lord is good the Lord has done me good this will be your testimony this will be your word from today onwards in Jesus name as you read as you continue to persevere with faith and trust in him as you continue to persevere with confidence in him in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to tell you my brother, I want to tell you my sister, do not look at people that give prosperity messages. You need to persevere in that the Lord has given to you. Remove your eye from another by focusing him. The Lord will favor you. The Lord will visit you. That's what you lay your hands to do. Persevere the little the Lord has given to your hand. Trust him. The will of God will continue to flow. You will come to experience. There are so many things that God has put in you, in your line of destiny, in your destiny, you will experience the faithfulness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we give you the glory for this deliverance. 
we give you the honor for this deliverance. The blaming part, I'm coming back to somebody blaming and blaming, looking for excuses of limitation. That is a lie. Remove the, your mouth from blaming somebody. Do not blame any man. Do not blame any woman. All the blame, Jesus has taken them. Jesus is a sacrifice. Do not go looking for whom to blame. All the blame, Jesus has taken it. Jesus became poor for us to be rich. Jesus became the victim for us to be victorious. Jesus died for us to live. There should be no limitation. Therefore, do not blame any person. Because in the will of God in your life, all that you go through, you persevere. The faith in the finished work of Jesus gives you breakthrough in the name of Jesus. This is a problem people don't know. They always look for whom to blame. They blame this person. They blame the nation. They blame that person. They blame that person. Whatever go on in your life, whichever part of the world God has placed you that you live in, there's a possibility of perseverance. The Lord is with you everywhere. As long as the oxygen, the air you breathe, God has given you life. Know that God is there with you. The finished work of Jesus is your trust and your confidence that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And the Lord shall supply your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Have this confidence that every day that come across your way, you persevere in faith in the finished work of Jesus. Because the walls of limitation is broken. Jesus has broken them. So we do not look for whom to blame. Remove this blaming. Remove these excuses. It is not of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when you see something, the Lord is giving you room to start to pray. To go back to his word. Challenge him for his power to come down. He said, if we leave Jesus on high, he will draw us to his glory. So if we leave our most high God on high, when we glorify God, he will draw us to him. In that which you do, whatever that you are passing through, when you glorify Jesus in him, his name will be exalted in that which you glorify him for in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, do not blame the last one I should warn us in the area of this breakthrough do not look for blame because when you keep blaming you are limiting yourself when you keep blaming, you continue to limit yourself. You are not to limit yourself in the name of Jesus. We are serving the God of miracle. This is the issue. People that don't have patience, they go to other gods. People that don't have patience to persevere, they look for whom to blame. People that don't have patience to persevere, they go to scamming. People that don't have patience to persevere, they go to skin stealing from people. People that don't have patience to fast persevere, they start stealing and looking for whom to destroy. This is not the will of God for the children of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Son of God, daughter of God, hear this word of God. Jesus said it and it's finished. Whatever that is not planted by my heavenly father must be uprooted. Every plant, whichever plant the enemy has planted is uprooted from today onwards in Jesus' name. Take this word. This is your freedom. Jesus has finished it. Jesus is the finished work. Do not let anybody taint your understanding about the word of God. Do not let anybody remove your mind from this freedom we have. This is pure deliverance in the name of Jesus. You know why it's pure deliverance? That when challenges come tomorrow, you'll be able to stand. When challenges come tomorrow, you know the truth to stand by the word because you know who you are. And you tell the enemy, your mind, you tell your mind, the voice that speaks to you, I am redeemed of the Lord. Jesus has paid the price. You powers that come with this problem, Jesus has nailed you on the cross. Jesus made a push you of you in the grave. Jesus triumphed over you. The name of Jesus is exalted high above every other name. Therefore, I want you to know, tell the voice that I'm a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, I'm a peculiar nation, I'm royalty. The blood of Jesus runs over me. That makes me royalty. Therefore, no power can stand against that which the Lord has given to me. You stand in authority and the enemy will flee. This is deliverance. If somebody always lay hand and pray for you, lay hand and pray for you, you must believe this is deliverance. If, if you deliverance, when you were able to stand and declare your confession, stand the truth that this is who I am. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, nor my family. And every tongue that shall rise against us in judgment, I stand in the name of Jesus. You condemn and I condemn you in Jesus' name. That is freedom. You know your right. When they, they, when they look at you, they say, this person knows their secrets. This person knows their freedom. Let us go to those that don't know their freedom. That's the tricks of the enemy. Brethren, I want you to know, limited are making heaven. Limited people, and it's not our portion in Jesus' name. Limited number of people, that's why the Bible said the remnants, the remnants shall be saved. You know why? Because a lot of people don't have confidence in the freedom they have in Christ Jesus. When you have confidence in the freedom you have in Christ Jesus, be it in the dream, be it in the physical, 
in the spiritual. You are, a mirror is, you, are, you are invoked. The spirit of God, the fire of God will locate them. In the name of Jesus. You know why? Because your soul is hid in Christ Jesus. Your hand, your soul is in the hand of Almighty God. You know why? Because you are adopted. God has adopted you because you are redeemed from the, the death of Jesus. Jesus has redeemed you because Jesus has redeemed you. Your name is in the book of life. Because your name, your name is in the book of life. You are the child of the Most High God. That's why he told us that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. The glory of God will, uh, will cover you because the enemy will not stand because this one belongs to the Most High God. This is deliverance. So whatever connection of ancestry is broken, in the name of Jesus, that when you stand your word, who you are in Christ, the connection of ancestry is broken because Jesus has taken the sacrifice. Jesus is the sacrifice. Jesus has shed his blood. Somebody has to die, Jesus died. They want to hold somebody captive for the cause. Jesus was that cause. You see what I'm saying? You, you are free. Let nobody bring false teachings and doctrine to you. Whom the Son of God set free, he is free indeed. Today you are free from every stagnation. Walls of limitation and stagnation is broken because Jesus has broken it in the name of Jesus. This is your belief. This is your confession. And I tell you the truth. The enemy cannot stand because you know who you are in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I release your sons and your daughters. In this hour of deliverance, manifest your faithfulness. Manifest your miracle. Manifest your power. Visit your children with revival of the Holy Spirit. Conviction of who they are, whom you have set free. You have done mighty work in this life by Jesus dying for us. Jesus paying the price. Whom the Son of God set free. He's free in this. Jesus has set his family free. Therefore, Holy Spirit, have your way. Miracle over the bones, over the marrows. Miracles of healing. The diabetes is gone because Jesus, you have taken the cause. You have broken the walls of stagnation. You have liberated whatever that is not planted in this life. You uprooted them and liberated this life from the diabetes, from fibroid, from sickness, infirmities in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your miracle power start to flow. Manifesting power of miracle of testimonies. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. You position that I've been going for, written application that I've been going for, position that I've been going for, I stand today in agreement with this life. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, let your mighty power of liberation take over. Every satanic force of stagnation that is holding the job in the name of Jesus, holding the approval of this application from today, I command you to seize your mission over this life in Jesus' name. I root you up out of this job in the mighty name of Jesus. I root you up. I say, root, Lord, be afflicted. I uproot you in the name of Jesus. You demon of stagnation, wherever you're coming from, you demon of limitation, whatever you're operating from, against this job application, against this approval, against this job position, today in the name of Jesus, I break you chains in Jesus' name. I break every gate you used to block this job being approved. Today in the name of Jesus, I break your gate in the name of Jesus. You know why? The Bible said it. Lift up your hands, all you gates, and be you lifted of your everlasting doors and the king of glory may come in today the king of glory come against you first that stand against this job approval the king of glory stand against you first that stand against this job ap application that stand against this job being given to the child of god you gate of ages broke in the name of jesus i approach you i say live in jesus name in the name of jesus every limitation that is a reason for this person not to get this job approval whatever limitation that have been blocking this life not to get this job approval today I break your hands in the name of Jesus I break your walls in Jesus name you know why? because the Bible says every plant that is not planted by my father in the name of Jesus it must be uprooted I uproot you out of this job in the name of Jesus is it business contract letter is it job application I uproot you in the name of Jesus live, get out in Jesus name Holy Spirit have your way let every satanic force reinforcing in any arena in the name of Jesus I command them to receive the blood of Jesus I command them to receive the blood of Jesus because this person Jesus is the sacrifice this soul Jesus is the sacrifice. This person, Jesus was made poor for this to be rich. This person is victorious. Jesus was made the victim of sacrifice. For
for this life to be free. Therefore, everything that is not planted by Heavenly Father over against this life, today is uprooted in Jesus' name. I move with the blood of Jesus over this job application. I move with the blood of Jesus over this job contract application. I move with the blood of Jesus and I neutralize the power of the enemy against this job today in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit manifests your glory. You said, let the King of glory come in. Let your glory start to come in. But verse 14 of Psalm 24 said, Heavenly Father, who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, the King of glory. Father, let your glory start to take over this life. The glory of your testimony over this job. The glory of your miracle. Testimony to your own glory must start to manifest over this job contract, over this job application, over this job business. It be is it capital for business. Heavenly Father, open the progression today in Jesus' name. The business keeps shaking. Oh, man, this is not prophetic hour, but the Lord is kind of moving into prophetic hour. The business keeps shaking. Man, Today, the limitation must fall in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray your mighty power flow. Whatever mouth, oh, they look for trouble. They look for trouble, they will get in trouble. Whatever mouth that has spoken against this business, whatever voice that has challenged against these resources, whatever hands that are set up against these resources, today I stand by the word of God that this wall gates that have been speaking break today in the name of Jesus. You will look for the trouble against the child of God. The kingdom of heaven suffering violence and the violence taken by force. I move with violence against you that stand against the daughter of the most high God, against you that stand against the son of the most high God against you that stand against the business resources of the child of God with limitation, with lack of whatever that is not planted by my heavenly father, Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, we move to start to uproot right now in the name of Jesus I move with the blood of Jesus I uproot in Jesus name, I move with the blood of Jesus, I uproot in Jesus name in the mighty name of Jesus, the gate of the evil, I cause you to break in the mighty name of Jesus, over this business, over these resources, is it online? Is it in physical? Is it in a dream that this business is supposed to be set up? Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, whatever force of stagnation I cause you to break in the name of Jesus. The Bible said it. I didn't say it because Jesus made a push you of you in the grave. Jesus triumphed over you. The name of Jesus is exalted high above every name. In the name of Jesus, over this life, over this business, you powers operating against this business, you must bow in Jesus. Jesus name, and you must confess that of a truth, Jesus is Lord over this life, and therefore you pack your bags and baggages because what you have planted against these resources, against this business, today in the name of Jesus, I cause you to be uprooted in Jesus name, I cast you out in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit let your glory take over this life, thank you Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, yes, your mighty power of visitation over these resources, the mighty power of the most high God over these resources. Holy Spirit, have your way. Start to uproot everything that has been operating as limitation. Is it the war the enemy has spoken? Is it whatever that was planted? I move with the blood of Jesus now. We neutralize the force of evil with the blood of Jesus. Is it in the website? I plead the blood of Jesus right now. I start to neutralize the power of the enemy with the blood of Jesus. The people not seeing this business. People not noticing the business. The heart distracted from this business. I plead the blood of Jesus over the heart of customers. I plead the blood of Jesus over the eyes of customers. I plead the blood of Jesus over the minds of customers. Holy Spirit start to locate them. I lose the customers to comfort in Jesus' name. That this business must prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. The walls of stagnation break in Jesus' name. The walls of limitation break in Jesus' name. Perseverance in this business flow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let your glory start to take over the resources. Let your glory start to take over the resources in the name of Jesus. Every mouth that has spoken, Father God, I seize that mouth from today. Except they repent, Holy Spirit. Except they confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, start to seize this mouth, not to speak in the name of Jesus. Over this business again. Over this life again. In the mighty name of Jesus. The eye that I'm watching against the child of God. Father, I reverse it. For your glory. In the name of Jesus. The eye that I'm watching. In the name of Jesus. Father I reverse it. I reverse it in Jesus name. I move to. I, I, listen to what I'm going to say now. I move against. 
cast out water beast. Hear my point. Every casted out water beast, water spirit, every demon casted out, whichever way they are setting up to reinforce against you, I release the fire of God to consume them in Jesus' name. Every casted out demon forces that are trying to reinforce, I release the fire of God against them in Jesus' name. Let destruction before them. The angels of the living God persecute them in Jesus' name. I want to speak to somebody. I want to go. The Holy Spirit kept holding me back. I want to speak to you, child of God. The thoughts of if, if you remove it today in Jesus' name. If it's of limitation. If it's, if it's possible. Can, it can, if we can do it, you can do it in the name of Jesus. The thoughts. Is it possible? It is possible. Jesus said with God, nothing is impossible. Remove the thought of if. Put your mind in God's will. It's the will of God that his will be done in your life from today onwards in the name of Jesus. Therefore, the limitation of fear, the limitation of walking by sight. You see, when you walk by sight, you won't understand the things of the spirit. When you walk in the spirit, you can't focus in the law what God can do. But when you walk by sight, you have fear of what people will think. You have fear of what human beings can say. You have fear of what you see. It's like when you see something coming your way, okay, you know, coming towards your face. You walk by sight looking at it. But when you look in spirit, you understand that the power of God over you, the banner of God over you is love. That the hand of God is able to move that force. Moving towards you to a different direction. Have I seen it? I've seen it a couple of times. Have I experienced it? I experienced it in the beast of accident. In the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, every impossibility today in the name of Jesus. Father, reverse for possibility in Jesus' name. Every impossible walls that have been operating with your choice. You see, you have to be very careful. In the things of spirit, God has set it up for good. It is like when it's when it start changing, it two reasons. One, your choice. The choice you make is dangerous. And number two, a lot of things will happen. God will hold for you to persevere and test his faith and see that he's faithful. Two things. You might be going through some certain things in life. It is a time for the fruit of the Holy Spirit to take over. For you to do what? Persevere. For you to do what? Trust in him. To do what? He's the miracle working God. To do what? Whatever come my way, Jesus will handle it for me. That is the time your faith, God wants your faith to come up. You see, you might be in the level 2 ladder. The Lord wants to bring you up to level 3. You have to persevere. And that's in prayer. It does in trusting God by his word. You carry your word, you go back to the Lord. You do not say this in your word. Glorify your name. That's when God wants to bring you up in prayer. Sometimes it happens like that for perseverance to happen. Another one is your choice. Do not make choices. That does not honor God because the will of God in our life is for us to have good expected end according to his will. The will of God is as you draw close to him, he, you, 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 his will will be done in your life. Number three, I'm going to add a little bit on that choice. Do not compare. I don't like to compare. The way God lead evangelists catch you in favor is not the way it's going to lead you, my sister. It's not the way it's going to lead you, my brother. You see what I'm saying? Do not compare. Therefore, today, Father, in the name of Jesus... Every limitation as a result of choice of if, Father, we reject it today in the name of Jesus. The falls that come with this fear walking by sight, Father, we reject them today in the name of Jesus. The forces of infirmity that come as a result of choice, I command your hands today to be broken. Whatever you have planted to bring choice that is not of God, to lead this person in a life that is not of the will of God, today in the name of Jesus, I cause you to be uprooted, I command you to get out in the name of Jesus, and the walls of limitation break in the name of Jesus, lift up your hands all you get, be you lift up your everlasting doors, that the king of glory may come in, the king of glory is coming in, therefore you limiting force with choices, today I command your walls to be broken in Jesus' name, I cause you to fall your walls of limitation, I uproot you, I root you out in Jesus name, Holy Spirit, let your mighty power of deliverance take over this your son, take over this your daughter, regarding choice, regarding comparison. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, bring your sons and your daughters into your world of freedom. We have in Christ Jesus that this life we see that Jesus you are faithful, that this life we see that Jesus you are the God of miracle, that your word can never return to you void, Heavenly Father. Manifest your glory because you are the King of glory. You have come in to reign in Christ Jesus for anyone that accepts 
they are the same Jesus. This is sons of God. We are the sons of God. These are your children, Father God. Let your glory start to manifest in this home where the power of liberation in the mighty name of Jesus from choices of limitation, from choices made that is causing limitation in this life. Father, let your mighty power of liberation take over this life right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Demon of doubt and struggle afflict people, making them have limitation. You doubt your faith. You see, that is it. When you have doubts, you don't believe. When you have doubt, doubts tend to cause limitation. Doubt, when you doubt what God can do, in the time of perseverance, you see, in the time of perseverance, you doubt. Maybe you kind of, as this prayer is going on, you are just listening like, it's just like those kind of prayer. You don't have faith. You don't believe. You kind of have doubt, but you just want to watch. It can cause a limitation. I'm telling you, my brothers, my sisters, experience the word of God by believing the word of God. And putting it in your life, believing and trusting him. He is his word. Do you know the Bible you read? That's Jesus. And everything about Jesus is faith. When you read the word of God, the Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The word was God. Therefore, when you have this word, trust it. This is Jesus. You are liberated. As many that the Lord has set free, they are free indeed from every bondage of stagnation. Take it that every wall that is not planted, every tree that is not planted, every fruit that is not planted by my heavenly father must be uprooted. Have it, believe it. This is the word of God. This is a miracle for you because the gospel of Jesus Christ is the spirit of, the spirit of prophecy. So take it. It's the word of God for your life. Take it. It must happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Therefore, everything of stagnation, of doubt, I break you. I command you to get out. Live in Jesus' name. The spirit of choice of negative choice. Father God, we reject it today in the mighty name of Jesus. And we cancel the hands of the evil one that gathered to war to operate against this life from today onwards in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. I thank you, Heavenly Father, because the word said, whatever tree that is not planted by my Heavenly Father must be uprooted. And Jesus, you told us in your word, your word said, and the ordinances of the enemy, Jesus, you took them out of the way. You nailed them to your cross. You destroyed principalities and powers. You made open shoe of them. You triumph over them. And anyone that is in you, Lord Jesus, will triumph over every works of the enemy. Therefore, any connecting force of limitation holding as a result of ordinances today, break in the name of Jesus. I command your hands to be broken in Jesus' name. The limitation of the evil one, I command you receive the blood of Jesus. You have no right. I hear procrastination again. It keep coming. It kept coming. The procrastination keep coming. Receive the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you demonic spirit of delay. Demonic spirit of procrastination creating limitation. I said receive the blood of Jesus. I break your chains. I command you right now. Lose your lips and hold. Get out in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody, I can't do it. Oh my goodness. If I want to go, the Lord keep moving. I can't do it. The spirit of I can't do it is not of Christ. The will of God is for you to have good expected end. And that's why the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It is not you. It is not you. The Lord will lead you to do it. You can do it. The God of hosts, the Lord of hosts, by his spirit, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. I don't know what is going on in your life. This is not prophetic hour. But I want to say, this word is coming as a result of limitation because it's you, in your head, we can't. In your mind, it's impossible. It's causing limitation. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I hand this life before thy throne of grace. I pray, Father, the thoughts of limitation of, come with procrastination of doubt. Lord, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Visit your son, visit your daughter with miracle of your faithfulness. With revival of the Holy Spirit. With conviction of the Holy Spirit in this life. Let your mighty power take over this life. In Jesus name. Amen. Miracle of liberation. Miracles of open door. Every one of us here. Confirm this word in the life of everyone. In Jesus name. I want to speak to somebody. When we talk of miracle. In the area of open door. We want to be wise in this thought. You must do something. You must be busy. For the open door to happen. You do not sit down and cross your hand. And expect open door. You must be busy. If you, because of time. Go, you can start the tape over. You see what I talk of perseverance. 
with perseverance with faith, miracles happen. You don't sit and cross and judge and condemn and wait for heaven to fall down for miracle. It will not happen like that. You must get involved, persevere. The Lord does not bless a lazy person. I'm telling you. The Lord does not bless somebody that will sit and criticize and wait my own is coming. It does not work like that. Perseverance in action. Faith without works. You see what I, that's the Bible. Faith without work does not work like that. You must have faith and you must walk. You must persevere. You must trust him. Miracle happen. You don't sit and expect miracle happen when you don't get involved. You don't do something. I want to challenge somebody. Pride should not pull you into waiting when the big one will come. Start with the little. The little you have, I'm giving, this is what the Lord is telling me. I'm telling you, my sister. I'm telling my brother. The little you start with. In the name of Jesus, miracle will follow you. Some of us that are online, we started with empty platform. Today, at least, some people are there. You see some people following. You must let the Lord lead you with perseverance. The business you are doing, whatever you sell, the little you do with trust and perseverance, faith by work gives miracle. Don't just sit and wait the word of God manifest. You must do something. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit, I release your sons. Another one. I'm hearing saving. When you have, you don't you you you, you waste everything and buying stuff. And later you're looking for whom to borrow from. You see, these are wisdom that the Lord gives. And when you say you want open door, open door will come in so many areas. As the Lord is guiding you to be prudent in your spending, as the Lord is guiding you in the time of uh, Joseph, in the time where there's nothing, there was dryness. God used Joseph to save for Egypt. And when there, when, when there was abundance, then Joseph saved for Pharaoh. And when the time of scarcity, famine came, that which was saved was used. I want his wisdom. So don't go and wait and say, miracle will come, open door will come. It will start with what you are doing, setting up, saving. The little you have, God will use it to glorify his name with open door. This is wisdom. This is word of God. And this, we are taking it as prophecy. This is what the Lord wants me to speak to somebody. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the spirit of prophecy. Take it. Works without faith. It doesn't work. You have faith. You must walk. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I release everyone here for your miracle of visitation. Of putting every form of limitation with, not, with extravagancy. In the name of Jesus. We cancel it in Jesus' name with wastefulness, demon of wastefulness, demon of pride that want to possess the things of this world by pride. I refuse your mission in the mighty name of Jesus. The force that come, money cannot be saved. And the force that come, you always want to buy. You always want to buy when there's money. It's a demonic spirit of poverty. I break your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, lift up your gates. You guys, lift up your gates and be uprooted in Jesus' name. And I uproot you, whichever way you operate in this life, in this family. I cause you to be uprooted. I cast you out in Jesus' name. Father, the wisdom of abundance flow over this home. The wisdom of saving, wisdom of faith with work flow in this life, in this family. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. I pray for prudence spending in this family. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, let your miracle of open doors start to flow. In the name of Jesus, favor, visit your sons and your daughters. As this operation of limitation is operated today, Holy Spirit, I release everyone here for miracles of favor. For success of favor to reach this life, to reach this home, to reach this family. In the name of Jesus, a youth, somebody here, you have a son. Oh my goodness, this is not a prophetic hour. This is not a prophetic hour. Somebody here, you have a son. This child will be highly favored. Favored. You have a son. I think it's not, he's not up to that teenage age. He's kind of coming up close to teenage age. Or he maybe is in his 12 or 13. He's coming to tell you, this child is favored. This child is favored. The Lord said, I should speak to you, everyone here. Your sons and your daughters, teach them the word of God. With the word of God, you are putting them, it will lead them wherever they go. They will not depart from it. I see favor in this child. Oh my goodness. I see grace in this child. I see favor. I see favor. Greatness. When I say greatness, I see greatness of God. Standing for the truth in this child. 
This child, as this child is growing, planted with the word of God. Father, let your grace and favor flow these families. Everyone here today in Jesus' name. The open doors of open doors of favor flow without limitation over this child, over these youths, over these families. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness, I saw grace. I really see grace upon this child. I, see, I really see grace of favor of God upon this son. Oh my goodness. It is so glorious. It is so glorious. I could see the glory of God over this child. I see the glory and grace. Grace and favor of God over this child. But there's a warning. This is where I'm going to use to stop. Follow me tomorrow. I think we'll continue limitation with a prophetic hour. We'll continue with this topic because I see a lot. There's a warning. Whatever you expose this child to, God will hold you responsible that it's not healthy. Whatever friends you did not monitor for this child, God will hold you responsible. When you whip a child with the left, you bring the child with the right. Use this upon this child. There's a warning. Be very wise in raising this child with the word of God in the name of Jesus. There's a warning. Friends you keep, like we say, family friends visit and visit. The Lord said I should want, be very, very observant. Let the child have their fun. Be, be so involved. Another one, don't be too busy that you won't have time. I want to tell us something. If you hear my story, any little space the enemy wants to use, it is God that favored me. I was, somebody gave me witchcraft when I was growing up. The enemy will open door. <sighs> You know, against any person the Lord have will for, plan for ministry. They gave me witchcraft. I saw everything. The Lord that, the light that visits me, I told the lady, I know who you are. If you come here again, I'll call my friend Jesus. You know why? My parents started early. We always studied the Bible. We always studied the scripture. That spirit of God was in me to be able to challenge this lady. This is an example I'm going to give. You see what I'm saying? And when I call her name, she said, how do you know? I said, I know you. I just want to know what you are doing, but I want to tell you I have my friend. My friend is Jesus. If you come here again, I'll call my friend against you. You know, from that day, the lady had a reprobate mind. I, the Lord gave me a reprobate mind against her. Every day she was following me to beg for forgiveness until when I got engaged to get married. And she kept coming, begging me for forgiveness. My husband said, why is this woman following you? I said, I don't know. They ask her, what, why are you begging this girl, this lady to forgive you? She, said, she didn't tell them. She said, she knows I want her to forgive me. I said, what do you want me to forgive you for? And you know, the Lord made it that, that issue wave off my memory. And I was like, why do you want this? Why do you want me to forgive you? It was later, later when I grew up, the Lord told me, do you remember this situation? I said, yes. He said, she removed it from my memory. So that it will not create a problem because she gave that lady a chance for repentance. A pastor called her and said, You are a witch. You've been trying to initiate a lot of children. You want to, she denied it. She died with her own, with her repentance. God gives people grace. So I'm using this as an example for parents. Watch, get involved. Watch, get involved. You see what I'm saying? The word of God, the Bible says it washes like water. So whenever we whenever we go to the we always go to church, we study the Bible, we want to study so we can be able to answer. All this the spirit of God was going inside of me, washing everything. So when I say I know you, don't come here again, don't come to my house again. I will call my friend on you. She said, How do you know? I said, I have my friend, my friend is Jesus. If you come here again, my friend Jesus, I'll call him on you. I will kill you if you don't know. The Lord said, Train this child the way he should go. When he grows up, we will not depart from it. I repeat it again. This child is a warning. Do not expose this child to affairs of this life. The, the activities, they get activity. Don't be too spiritual, but you'll be very spiritually observant. Lay hands always and bless your children. Lay hands always bless. Lay hands always pray. Lay hands always bless. Every limitation over your life, I break it in Jesus' name. Everything that stands to limit you from the will of God in your life, I cause them to be broken in Jesus' name. Lay hands and bless your children. Cause every force that got out to frustrate their destinies in Jesus' name. God bless you. So we continue with prophetic prayer and we continue with limitations. Every limitation break and fall. God bless you. Father, I cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. 
Brethren, with the word of God that you receive, when you let it remain in you, it brings manifest of miracle. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. That this message will not fall down. That this deliverance will not waste. That you will not go back to your vomit in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray the hand of God flow with you. Go with you. And minister life to you in Jesus name. Have your way Father over these souls. Over this life. The blessings and miracles. Permanent from today onwards. In Jesus almighty name we pray. Amen. We continue with limitation in prophetic hour. God bless you. Watch out for the prophetic hour.